30 years ago, these were dark ages of cancer treatment because we knew so little about the cancerous process. Now, we know much more, but this is still the beginning, but it's a very exciting beginning. And what was crucial was uh, uh, defining the structure of the human genome. Dr. Stanislaw Brzezinski discovered a gene-targeted technique for cancer therapy back in the 1970s. The scientific debate over his medicine, antinoplastins, still continues, and it's the subject of an upcoming documentary series, My Cancer-Free Life. Producer Uchenna Agu and Brzezinski Clinic patients Bo Edwards and Doug Cruz are here to talk about that. Good morning. Good to be here. Remember, as a little girl watching TV and how people were so up in arms about this Brzezinski clinic. On one end, you had people saying, "I have to try something, right, Be right. or I'm going to die," and on the other end, you have people saying he's a madman, right? But right. it turns out some of the things that he was talking about <clears throat> today is now across the entire uh, medical community is is now embracing you know, immunotherapy. Yeah, therapy. and what we know yeah. about cancer today. Okay, what got your attention in terms of wanting to do this particular docu-series? Because we know you from uh, reality yeah. show, yeah, right? Yeah, Amazing Race. Amazing Race, yeah, being able, um, but, you, but in your other life, this is what you do. Yeah, well, I got into healthcare, and then I partnered with uh, some amazing, vi amazing visionaries uh, to, to, to put together bigger small media entertainment. And um, basically, through the research of figuring out this My Cancer Free Life project, uh, we found the Brzezinski Clinic. Yeah. And we're, it's titled My Cancer Free Life. And we meet these gentlemen who have been cured of cancer. Wow, okay. So oftentimes when someone's told you have stage four cancer, which both of you were told, right? Yes. yes. You're told to go home, get your affairs in order, and wait. Correct. You were yes. not going to wait. Your wife was not going to wait. <laughs> Exactly. That's that's true. My wife had a friend who had uh, been diagnosed with stage four cancer uh, almost 20 years ago. Uh, she went to the Brzezinski Clinic, was treated there, and is still alive 18 years later, uh, and highly recommended. So for you, for what you were told, you shouldn't be sitting here right now. Oh, by all means, I should not be in existence right now. Yeah. You were told by your previous doctors what? <clears throat> yes. The doctors told me that uh, uh, I had stage four cancer, that I should go home and get my affairs in order. That I had three choices uh, to uh, have chemotherapy, which would probably not be effective with the type of cancer I had, or radiation therapy, which might add a few weeks, possibly months weeks to, to my your life. life, or I could have radical surgery, which would, invo would involve uh, amputation of my entire right arm, shoulder, and a part of my right upper chest. How long ago was it they told you that? That was in January of 2018. And you're still sitting here now? And I'm sitting here now uh, before you, cancer-free. Wow. Okay, Doug? Well, uh, for, for me, it was March 2017. Similar story in that my wife had been an RN, and we got uh, the word in the hospital. I asked her to take me to the emergency room. My system had shut down. My blood pressure had ramped up. I was told I was dying, and then we got the biopsies back, and the doc said, uh, you have stage four prostate and, and kidney cancer, and... Uh, so it had metastasized. Yeah, metastasized to bone, and you should just go grieve with your family. And uh, my wife basically said, we're going to Brzezinski Clinic. Between her and my daughter, both of them knew a daughter from Hawaii and my wife here from the medical center. Being a nurse in the medical center knew about Brzezinski and did the paperwork and we started out. And when I met Dr. Brzezinski, that was the decision maker. I sat across from him and his conversation was about life. Uh, Not about getting your affairs in order. Yeah. All right, Uchenna, what is he doing different? What, are we going to are we going to find this out in, in this well, documentary? We, like, what is it he's we, doing gonna, different? We're going to find a lot of things out about cancer, cancer treatment, and you know, the truth be known, there's a there's a window that each person has to go into to decide on whether to, to go down the same path. You know, right to try. Uh, has opened the door. Which President Trump recently signed into law, yes. the right to try, which, which allows people to try other options. Right. 
and there's a DNA test that, that uh, each patient must take before getting into the Brzezinski Clinic, and if you fall within that window, you're golden. Yeah. It's, it's simple. People ask the question, why isn't every treatment facility doing it this way? Wow. <laughs> we ask ourselves this question, you know, at, at, why isn't everyone doing it? Because um, we have established a way of treating cancer over the years that uh, everyone is just, this is the way we do it. And uh, it doesn't open the door to alternative treatment um, right away. And then many times the patients come to Brzezinski with, last have, hope. Have, yeah, last, last hope has been given six weeks to live, you know, two months to live. Instead of going in on the front end and saying, hey, listen, check my DNA if I fit, let's do this now. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And so you're telling these stories, and these are people who are literally looking at death. Right. They're weeks away. Death. And we're going to follow them through the whole process, and, and some of them will choose the traditional methods. They may choose to go to, for surgery or chemotherapy, um, and we're going to follow everyone. Yeah. So it's not that we're focusing on Brzezinski any more than uh, any other treatment plan, but we will see it all. This is just the one that's kind of different. Absolutely. All right. Uh, Bo, there's somebody out there who has gotten the word that they've got stage 4 cancer right now. What do you have to say to encourage them to not give up? Uh, there's hope. Yeah. There's a basis for hope and there are people who can uh, provide that hope. We found that at the Brzezinski Clinic. Uh, we met with uh, Dr. Brzezinski and other doctors on his staff uh, who were, they didn't promise anything, but they, they gave you hope, which is hope. a big, yes. strong four-letter word when you're dealing with a, a chronic illness like this. And Doug? I, I would just say amen to what Bo says. And, and also, had the opportunity to meet people like Bo. It's been an honor to be around people who are survivors and fighters, and will find a way. Yeah. And, uh, and, and listen to your, your, your wife. Yeah, and listen to your <laughs> wife. Yeah, okay. That's a given no matter what the situation yeah, no, no is. Question. But I guess part of it, too, though, is, Uchenna, is that you become an expert real quick on things when you're staring death in the face. Absolutely. And what you want to do with this documentary is that there are conventional ways of getting things done, and it has saved people's lives, but you right. owe it to yourself to look at all of your options out there. Absolutely. And so you can see that through this documentary as you're following people who and, are dealing with And part of our cancer. goal is to demystify cancer and make it more of a tabletop issue so that if it does strike your family you know the options you have other places to go to look than the traditional methods yeah. so it's like okay now okay it struck us so we have these options before you even you know uh, have to go to surgery yeah. or whatever or be at stage four it would be at yeah. stage four absolutely all right thank you all very much and for more information about the Brzezinski Clinic or the show my cancer free life log on to greatdayhouston.com